I thought I would instead tell you a little story. It's about a jacaranda tree. So it fits in with the purple theme of the wedding. And this story has got two surprise endings, one of which Abigail already knows. The jacaranda tree in question is just around the corner from here, out the front of our house. Scrawny and scraggly, it always flowers way too early, but even then, not very much. As a tree, as George would say, it's a bit disappointing. But Ab Abigail grew up with that tree. Every year of her childhood, it was the focus of increasingly complicated Christmas light displays. Branches wrapped with twinkling strands and various contraptions hoisting up sparkling stars and trees and icicles and things. At least one childhood pet is buried at the base of that tree. I remember a suitably sombre ceremony with guests, music, a dedication, a tiny casket and a little grave marker. So it's a special tree. And when Abigail and Damon announced their engagement with today as the wedding date, at some stage I did think what a miracle it would be if her favourite tree burst into glorious lavender bloom for her wedding day. A miracle indeed, for when Abigail arrived home from London last week, she was met with the fact that the tree had mostly been chopped down. Surprise! In fairness, it kind of died from the waist up. Um, the lower bits were okay, the top bits were pretty dead, and health and safety, the arborist said, health and safety, it's got to come down. I don't know much about trees. We kept the trunk, maybe it'll grow back. That was me. <laughs> don't worry though, um, this does have a happy ending. George, the crafty little ranger insisted on keeping the lower branch logs. He milled them, he dried them, he planed them into useful timber. And from Abigail's favorite childhood tree, he handcrafted this simple but beautiful ring box that Angus presented to you at the ceremony today. Surprise. So even though the rings are now on your fingers, please keep this little box with you as you travel the world. A memento from home and a reminder that, not that your parents killed your favorite tree, but even in tough times, good things will always follow.